Hello and welcome back to another episode of Diaries of Death. My name is Saigon and today we're continuing the World of Warcraft Diaries of Death uh, on the official hardcore servers. Uh, still going strong on uh, server stitches where uh, the Frost Mage uh, is now level 45. We have uh, last time started questing in Feralos uh, and in Tenaris as well. So quite a bit of content there. I was trying to get a Zulfarag group in the meantime. Uh, needless to say that the higher you are getting, the more difficult it becomes to, to really get a group uh, going. That is very unfortunate. Nonetheless, we start uh, with the wood or map right there get a follow-up a nice little follow-up quest time for us to go to the ogres and do all of the ogre related quests let's go boys and in a moment's notice we are already at the ogre so this is going to be another slaughter fest gotta get the maulers down and then we'll take it from there We got ourselves a friend. Remember the uh, mm, the quest where we are going to escort? Exactly, that's where uh, we just got a friend who wants to do that same quest. So instead of skipping it, I figured might as well do it as a duo. Good. Whilst our friend is just fin uh, finishing another quest, we're going to do the ogres. Yeah, they are pretty straightforward. I think the ogres are one of my favorite enemies. They always felt like they don't have whole lot of hit points they are not hitting very hard their special abilities compared to others are very much palatable they are slow and you can see uh, them very well plus they are very s clustered up compared to others There's another quest down here, right? So the golden orb, which I think drops from the chains. Can't I loot that item now? Oh, I see. Never mind. I'm in a group now. Good. Time to stay even more of these ogres. And our colleague seems to still be stuck on that other quest. Our kill speed is very, very good. Just look at the amount of uh, damage that we're uh, dealing, then there's a short uh, drinking break, and off we go on and on and on. Not bad. I absolutely like the build. It's the same, uh, same level uh, mob than we are. And we're destroying it. The 
moment that they are frozen, uh, we do have a above 50% chance for crit. Good, time to get their casters. hit points. I love ogres. Although you can't really AOE grind them very well, I think they are a fantastic uh, source of single pull experience. Very straightforward. And hit point pools are moderate. I think our friend is soon going to be ready. I'll fast forward the ogres a bit uh, and we'll have some fun off screen. Good. We are in front of uh, the cave. Time to find the little beacon in there and then time to start uh, the quest. suggested that we're going to clear all of the yetis outside because uh, what's going to happen is we're going to run uh, the beacon essentially through here and there is a non-zero chance that that will trigger additional yetis. is taking that clearing thing uh, very serious that's good friend uh, has a frost spec as well and double frost mage is a gnarly combination man. he's taking it a bit slower
good. Our little chicken here. We all need to make sure that that is going to survive. And that's also where the problems are typically starting. Number one, you're running through this cave, hundreds of yetis. Chicken always aggros. It makes your life miserable. Number two, of course, as with any escort quest, someone is ambushing. In this case, I think an Uber Yeti uh, with a couple of friends. If I'm not uh, mistaken, my recollection um, suggests it was like four of them ish. Quite a few. Definitely, if I had done that by myself, the chicken would have likely not survived. Or I would have needed to use slumber dust. I think that's not even it. I think there is more. Not 100% sure, but I think. It was a brutal quest for a solo person. Keep in mind, all of this here while well, still running behind the chicken, so there is no time to regenerate, and it's moving reasonably fast. Uh, I think soon it will say danger again. couple of ticks of uh, drinking in. All right, robot chicken. It's running. Oh yeah, I remember it walked all the way to here. Yeah, and there is even more danger. Yeah, that doesn't make it easier. If you are going too far away from the chicken, it also means it also means that the quest fails. The sheep one <laughs> got away. That is funny. All right, the one that I sheep just despawned or is now haunting the streets who knows
Someone wants that chicken really bad. See, that's why I didn't do it uh, all by myself. All right, so I'm no longer a peasant. Invested 90 gold pieces and got myself a mount. And the reason why we're here in the hinterlands is because I want to finish uh, Cortelio's riddle. He's flagged as a 50, um, uh, as a 50 quest, but it is actually not. We just need to be a little bit uh, careful. We need to go, go all the way to the waterfall, and there we'll get the reward, which is a huge, huge backpack. 14 slots. Given that my smallest one is 8 slots, I could use the extra space. Having a horse is such a quality of life improvement. It took me all the way to level 45 to get one. And I didn't even buy all of the spells, but I leveled uh, the professions and that's really where it started kicking in. The money sink. Six thousand one hundred uh, are just the eyes in the game. But boy, that is great. Look at it. Okay, let's appreciate it just for a second. Eight uh, slots, ten slots. Chef kiss. So good. So much more room all of a sudden. Look at that, things are no longer clustered up. Lots and lots of free space. Fabulous, good. Now that we have solved that and I finally got a 14 slot backpack, which is great, I got the rest is uh, 10, we can go back to Ferraras. And hand in a few of our quests. Yeah, we're doing good. I'm so happy about uh, that backpack absolutely made my day good while well, he's dancing a couple of other things we need to still kill the ogres and take care of an infestation in in south yeah i think this is a bit too much 50 and 48 will also not fly uh, maybe 48 uh, depending on whether or not we make a level but we can still do this quest and uh, that quest and should be fine tell you what um, we're abandoning the natural material thing it's the map way too cluttered. 
and we're just focusing on this and that. All right, four starters. Let's get to the Zucrius uh, infestation. Good, we're here, and uh, these guys uh, are already giving us a little bit of a taste of what's to come. Lots and lots of uh, ants and uh, other bugs. I'm dreading that. That will become a theme in the 50s. Fighting through various tunnels of these bad boys. Let's see if we do have enough room to maneuver and we're not going inside. I might uh, stay uh, with Major Armor. Just because it is faster. just need to kill any of these guys so might as well do that outside is there anything that we need to do inside does not appear like it just single pull all of them and kill them good we're done with the collection as anticipated it had taken some time but that brings us right back to our good friends the ogres where we're now moving in in order to do the sub part here fight my way through that and fast forward for you guys okay so we worked our way through the initial uh, portion and now we can finally get a little bit deeper in the mix lots of ogres are already dead and this here will be a one-way trip so uh, I can see that this canyon is preventing us from just running out so. that's a bit of a challenge but nothing that we cannot overcome the warlocks are actually not too bad because uh, with a counter spell they don't uh, cast but they don't have a lot of hit points which is great here we can move all the way to the lower section in case you're wondering why am I in a group because I'm trying to organize a Zool Farak run which again isn't that it's, uh, simple so this is the entire population that we can work with and it is already 
kind of uh, busy-ish period. So hardcore servers towards uh, the end game aren't necessarily as populated, shall we say. People tend to die a little bit earlier. Only those who know what they are doing, well, the 1%. Make it that far. Uh... All right, so we got uh, warlocks and shamans that we will need to uh, kill. I don't like the density uh, here. Let's just get this thing out of the way. That's fine out of the way, we're okay. Good, so warlocks and then shamans. Uh, near. Missed the counter spell. Good, let me find the shamans real quick. Good, we are at the mages. Or mage lords, or lords rather. We can drop one of the orbs that we need, but we haven't found this in a channel. Holy smokes. We finally found the shamans. Or one, at least. more to slay well that's going to be a lot of fun but i think up here there are quite a few shamans yeah so that's where we are going to get all of them and then hopefully the orb good we just found the orb on one of the mage lords that's fantastic that's another shaman uh, back there thumping sound when they are moving. Impressive. Alright, short interims uh, report. Shamans can spawn apparently on any of the locations, so I find myself grinding away the enemies that I don't want to uh, find all that we don't need and instead I'm waiting for shamans to spawn. On the flip side though we have uh, reached a power level where I can go through like four of them back to back to back and still continue uh, questing without needing to drink so that's not too bad i'll continue to plow ahead all right time for our last shaman and then we should be done here matter of fact we should be done with the zone well I should say that there's potentially a follow-up quest. We don't know. All right, let's trade in. The mage gameplay always allows for a tiny bit of pauses during the drinking. And that's perfect to get a group 
together. Good. One more trade in. And there we go, level 46. I have been thinking we're going to get uh, Blizzard going. Simply because the slow is so, so, so strong on it. Uh, I don't want to miss out on that opportunity. That's really, really good. So in terms of follow-up quests, travel to the hinterlands, yeah, not really what we can do it, or we could do that. Um, this here goes to Ogrima. Oh wow. Still trying to get um, a group together in the anticipation that that might not work. How about uh, we are flying to or close to Zulfarak and see if this is going to work out that is a good natural ending for today's episode a little bit shorter uh, than the last one we made it all the way to 46 and even got a blizzard uh, upgrade 40 percent slow so that'll be great now uh, let's go to Zulfrak and that will happen in the next episode thanks a lot for watching guys hope you enjoyed it and uh, see you soon bye bye